Hi, I'm Carlotta Mast, Editor-in-Chief of NewHope360.com, and I'm here today at, New, at the Natural Products Expo East with Lizanne Falsetto, who is founder and CEO of Think Thin Products. And Think Thin has been an exhibitor at expos for a long time and is one of the long-standing brands um, in the gluten-free category. So I was interested in talking to you because you launched this line in 1999 and it's been gluten-free you know, since the beginning. And now gluten-free has been this category that we've seen grow so robustly here at the shows in terms of new products. And I'm wondering, what have you seen as kind of the biggest changes in gluten-free since you started in 1999? Well, you know, what's interesting is Think Thin came about uh, in 1999 with the concept of making food that made me feel good. And so I didn't like sugar, and I didn't like wheat, and I liked protein. And so when I started out, it kind of organically came about to be gluten-free. Where the category is growing and uh, people are starting to become label readers is I think they're starting to realize that gluten is an allergen that creates a digestive issue for a lot of people. And, and when you eat something that has gluten in it, you don't feel good. And so I think it's just starting to become more apparent in, in the natural arena of, of awareness to our consumers. Absolutely, and I know that Think Thin is much more than just gluten-free, that yeah. that's an attribute of your product, but I'd be interested because, like I said, there's so many new gluten-free companies coming online, and they all have pretty compelling stories, but from your perspective, what's the key to achieving longevity in the gluten-free category? I believe that uh, the product itself, it's a, if it's a new brand that you're launching, and you can add the gluten-free side of it and be able to grow your business with that model, with many variations of manufacturing facilities, then it would be the way to go. But I still think that the gluten awareness level, especially on the manufacturing side, is, is minimal. And so to grow a new company into many categories with it, I, I don't think would be what I would do if I was to start again. That makes sense. Well, I know the manufacturing side, it is so crucial yeah. to, you know, to, to really adhere to manufacturing quality right. if you have gluten-free on your label. Right. And so I think Think Thin has also been pretty innovative in the overall nutrition bar category, which has gone through a lot of change over the last 10 years. And what's new with the Think Thin line right now? And what do you think it brings to the nutrition bar category that wasn't there before? Well, you know, I think Think Thin has found a, a, a hole in the new nutrition bar category by bringing natural and wellness and weight management and bringing them together. And it is very hard to find food that has zero to no sugar. And Think Thin Crunch, which is our newest product line, is in the fruit nut category. And the beautiful thing about Think Thin Crunch is it has 70% less sugar and 80% more protein. It has honey, but it's equal to eating an, an apple. That's how much sugar is in it. So the product is delicious. We have three different um, coatings that actually are added to it. And so our offering is to cater to the zero to no sugar, the high protein, the great taste, and the gluten-free consumer, the allergen consumer. Sure, well, it definitely seems targeted to that. Um, and I wish you the best of luck with well, the new you. product and thank um, you. with the show here at Expo East. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks.